Hey subscribers, welcome back. I'm Jessica from Scribber. In the last video, we learned how to search for relevant literature. In this video, you'll learn step two of writing a good literature review, which is how to identify themes, debates, and gaps in your literature. Now that you have the literature ready, before you start organizing your literature review structure and argument, you need to draw connections and relationships between the sources you've read. Let's recap our topic, social media's impact on the younger generation's body image. Here are five things you should look out for and take note of in your sources. Trends and patterns, specifically in theories, methods, and results. So are there clusters of studies that focus on the same aspect of the topic or use the same method? Is there a certain approach or theory that has become more popular over time? In our case, most of the literature on our topic focused on Facebook and Twitter. And in recent literature, there has been an increasing interest in highly visual social media like Instagram and Snapchat. So one important trend in the literature is a changing approach to the type of social media. When it comes to themes, can you spot any concepts or questions that repeat again and again across literature? In our case, we notice the theme of mental health comes up a lot. Many studies find that social media has quite a few negative impacts on mental health. Debates, conflicts, and contradictions. Are there any debates between sources? Perhaps studies that use similar methods but yielded different results? If there's any research that goes against the general consensus, it should be addressed. In our example, some studies suggest that certain types of social media use have no association with body image. So we want to look critically at how they come to that conclusion. Pivotal publications. So any influential studies or theories that absolutely change the direction of the field? Like when the apple dropped on Isaac Newton's head? Take a look at this article and its site count. It's published over a decade ago and focused on mass media, which was era appropriate. Could this be of any use? Now, what about this article? And finally, gaps. So what could be missing from the literature? Any weaknesses that need to be addressed? In our literature, we find that very little research has been done on highly visual social media, such as Instagram and Snapchat. So this is a gap. On top of that, most of the literature focuses on females. The research that has been done on male subjects has small sample sizes. So that's another gap we could fill by doing a different type of study on this population. Nice. This will come in super handy when working out the structure of your literature review. Speaking of which, watch this video next.